IP Tech Talk. Hello everyone and welcome to IP Tech Talk. Today, I'd like to introduce Huawei's PLC IoT technology and related products in the enterprise domain. PLC is short for Powerline Communication. It is a data communication technology that allows data to be transmitted over common power lines. With this technology, data can be transmitted anywhere that there are power lines without requiring extra cabling of dedicated communication lines. As we know, four types of communication technologies are typically used at the sensing layer of IoT networks. These are field bus technologies such as RS-485 and CAN bus, micro power wireless technologies such as Zigbee and Wi-Fi, cellular communications technologies such as MB-IoT and GPRS, and finally, PLC technology. PLC technology has a long history and is typically divided into narrowband, midband, and broadband PLC, each differing in carrier frequency. Narrowband PLC has a carrier frequency from 3 kHz to 500 kHz, including G3 PLC, Prime, and IEEE 1901.2. Narrowband PLC is typically used for remote meter reading. Midband PLC originates from high-speed PLC technology used by the SGCC and operates at a carrier frequency from 0.7 MHz to 12 MHz. It is widely used for electricity consumption information collection. In 2018, the IEEE standardized midband PLC technology and released the IEEE 1901.1 standard for midband PLC for smart grid applications. Broadband PLC technologies such as GHN and Homeplug operate at a carrier frequency ranging from 2 MHz to 30 MHz or even 100 MHz and are generally used for home network interconnection. PLC IoT is a mid-band PLC technology for IoT scenarios and is developed based on high-speed PLC or IEEE 1901.1 in combination with IPv6 technology. PLC IoT employs the orthogonal frequency division multiplexing or OFDM technology and delivers outstanding anti-noise and anti-interference performance. It enables point-to-point -point transmission over distances of 500 meters to 1,000 meters and can extend the transmission distance to several kilometers by building a mesh network with multi-level relays. PLC IoT provides a communication rate from 100 kilobits per second to 2 megabits per second at the application layer. What that means is that the IPv6 protocol runs over the link layer of the high-speed PLC or IEEE 1901.1 standard. So the applications run over the IP layer, but not over the link layer. IP-based midband PLC brings tremendous benefits. First, with the help of the IPv6 technology, which is both standardized and open, different types of end devices can share one PLC network. Applications on the IoT gateway and those on containers can also share the same PLC network. The applications can access their managed end devices separately without affecting each other. This improves the concurrency capability and communication efficiency of the PLC network. In addition, based on IPv6, diversified IoT protocols can run over TCP or UDP. For example, the Standard Constrained Application Protocol, or COAP, can be used to implement efficient data transmission, and the Datagram Transport Layer Security Protocol, or DTLS, can be used to implement access authentication and encrypted data transmission for end devices. This enhances the security of data transmission complying with the high-speed PLC or IEEE 1901.1 standard. Developers can access PLC network nodes through socket interfaces from containers of the IoT gateway and SDKs of star modules. And they can also fully leverage mature capabilities of open source software. As such, it is easy for developers to quickly develop applications in a similar way to with Ethernet. This greatly simplifies PLC development. Huawei delivers two types of PLC IoT products. They are PLC Central Coordinator, or CCO module, and PLC Star module. A CCO module is used to build a PLC network. It must be used together with a Huawei IoT gateway, or core card, and can connect up to 512 star modules. Huawei provides two types of CCO modules. This is a fixed CCO module, IQ PLC 100. It connects to an AR502H through an Ethernet port and provides power sockets and RS-485 ports as well as a 12 volt DC power output. This CCO module can be deployed separately from the gateway 
and connect to the gateway through an ethernet cable. And this is a CCO module, PLCH Power 1. It can be inserted into the motherboard of a host through pins and integrated with the motherboard to form one device. Huawei also delivers another two models of PLC star modules. This is a standard PLC star module whose structure and interfaces comply with the definitions for smart meter communication modules made by the SGCC. It can be directly installed in an electricity meter. It supports transparent transmission through the serial port, which means it can transparently transmit packets sent from an end device to apps on the gateway. In this way, the gateway can be directly connected to the end device. This is a compact PLC star module. It uses a dual PCB structure design which means it supports both software and hardware secondary development. Our partners can integrate this module into their own boards and then develop several peripheral circuits to use it. In addition, this module is based on Huawei's Lite OS. This allows our partners to develop tailored applications based on APIs, using the SDKs and referring to operation guides provided by Huawei. Huawei PLC IoT products support domain-specific networking. Multiple PLC networks can be built on the same PLC line without interfering with one another. They also support software-based transformer district identification. This means that the transformer to which a PLC IoT node belongs can be automatically identified without manual intervention, simplifying installation and deployment. Huawei PLC IoT products also support extensions of RF interfaces to implement dual mode communication, which expands the communication coverage and provides comprehensive networking. In addition, they support plug and play and automatic discovery, which simplifies the network access process and improves service rollout efficiency. Huawei PLC IoT products have been widely used in various scenarios, such as power distribution IoT, electricity meter reading, smart integrated energy service, or IES, smart IoT pole sites, and smart transportation. Huawei's PLC IoT products support the open integration mode. Huawei provides SDK, developer forum, and professional FAE team to help customers complete secondary development. So far, we've successfully delivered many cooperation projects with our partners in the PLC IoT field. We're now developing many advanced functions of PLC IoT products, including accurate clock time synchronization and topology identification. Be sure to stay tuned to find out more. Well, that brings us to the end of today's IP Tech Talk about PLC IoT. Thanks for watching and see you next time.